Hello and welcome to another ZBrush for iPad getting started tutorial. In this video, we're going to take a look at GoZ and how to connect ZBrush for iPad with your ZBrush on desktop. So I have this example model over here and let's say I want to export this out into my desktop in order to keep on sculpting. So now if I press this export button on the top left corner, you can see there's a GoZ button right at the top. And if I press that, ZBrush for iPad is going to search for any device that you have connected to the same network as the iPad. So once that's finished, you'll see that there's a little laptop icon that shows up. This means that my laptop is connected to the same network as the iPad. Now it's only a matter of clicking that laptop icon. And once you do that, within seconds, my desktop, which you can see over here, will prompt me that the iPad wants to send over this project file. So if I click receive, then what is going to happen is it's going to replace whatever project I was working on. So if I had made any changes, it's going to prompt me to save the project that I was currently working on the desktop then you can see on my screen that I have the exact project that I was working on the iPad. Keep in mind though, that within ZBrush for Desktop, if you go to Preferences under Go Z, this Discoverable button needs to be on. This allows the nearby iPad to detect that there's a nearby computer connected to the same network that has ZBrush open. Also, if I want to import that back into the iPad, so let's say I made some changes to the sculpt and I just want to bring that back into the iPad. There's a new button over here under the GoZ All Invisible called GoZ the iPad. Now, looking back at our iPad UI, I have to press this import button and click the GoZ import button. And that's all you need to do on the iPad. Now, if you press on the desktop, go Z to iPad, the iPad shows up. This does not show up if you're not on the import go Z tab on your iPad. So if I click this, click send. Now on the iPad, you can see that there's a receiving icon now on the import. So it is currently receiving that file. And as you can see on both sides, the little bar that's showing up, it's progressing at the same time on both devices. So now as this finishes up receiving, you'll see that it is replacing the model on the iPad with what we had on the desktop. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.